the Madagascar periwinkle contains more than 70 alkaloids, most of which are known for their medicinal properties. It contains the anti-cancerous vincristine and vinblastine, as well as the anti-hypertensive reserpine. It also helps in managing the blood sugar. Some other uses of the herb are to ease a toothache, improve circulation and to prevent memory loss. It's traditionally used to treat diabetes in many Asian folk medicines. In the Philippines and China, the plant is boiled for several minutes and it's consumed daily to help to manage the insulin levels. It's known for its potential to curb bleeding, thus it enhances the healing process. The oil extracted from the leaves can help to cure bleeding from the nose and the gums. It can also be used to ease the bleeding in hemorrhoids. Being a good styptic by nature, the herb is powerful enough to help in regulating excessive bleeding during menstruation and the menopause. The leaves and the seeds contain a good amount of vincamine, an alkaloid that's related to the enhanced memory and the increased cognitive functions. The Madagascar periwinkle helps to enhance blood circulation in the brain. It helps in brain metabolism. It improves mental productivity, prevents memory loss and boosts the thinking ability by preventing the aging of brain cells. The herb can also help to prevent dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It's a popular herbal treatment for cancer, including leukemia, Hodgkin's disease, malignant lymphomas, neuroblastoma, Willem's tumour and Copsy sarcoma. When taken in a tea, the plant helps to prevent the propagation of cancer cells to the rest of the body. The vincristine in the periwinkle is responsible for the plant's powerful anti-cancer properties. It also contains other chemicals which can help to treat the Hodgkin's disease. It can be quite effective for treating wounds and to stop bleeding. For this remedy, you can take a handful of the leaves in a pan of boiling water and wait until it's reduced to half the amount and then strain. Then take a pure cotton cloth and sterilise it by boiling it in water. Then squeeze the water out completely and dip this clot in the prepared extract and squeeze a little so the clot is not dripping. Then place the clot on the wound like a bandage. This kind of external application doesn't have any side effects and can be done safely at home. Keep repeating the process in the morning and evening until the wound starts to heal. The Madagascar periwinkle helps to improve circulation and to lower the levels of blood pressure. The herb can be used effectively as a cure for anxiety and for stress. It's suggested the anti-inflammatory property of the herb can help to heal eye inflammation. People who've tried the herb suggest a concoction prepared from the leaves can help to improve the circulation of the blood and the oxygen level, thus improving your immunity and your energy levels. Vinpocetine is a chemical that's derived from vincamine and this is found in the leaves of the common periwinkle as well as the seeds of various African plants. It's also used as a treatment for memory loss and cognitive impairment. Apart from that, it's shown several benefits to people related to Alzheimer's disease symptoms. A tea can be used as a solution for helping to heal a strep throat infection. Due to its astringent properties, the herb is applied topically to treat a sore throat, wounds, canker sores, eczema, bleeding and abscesses. It contains the alkaloid reserpine and this is known for its ability to lower the levels of blood pressure. An excessive blood pressure is dangerous for the heart, so by maintaining the level of blood pressure it protects the heart from various fatal conditions like strokes. The rich astringent property makes it a wonderful solution for canker sores. You can use the Madagascar periwinkle tea as a mouth rinse to ease the pain and the inflammation of the oral sore and to speed up the healing. It's a popular solution for wasp stings and wounds. The external use of the leaves on the affected area treat the problem well. The leaves of the periwinkle are taken along with turmeric and a fine paste is made and this is applied to a wound two to three times per day. Fresh roots are collected and washed carefully. This is then dried under the shade and a fine powder is made. 
This powder is taken with little honey and it has a strong effect against type 2 diabetes. The white variety of the periwinkle is selected and its five fresh leaves are collected. This is then pounded and a juice is obtained. Two to three millilitres of this juice is taken early in the morning or late at night and this helps to control blood pressure. Six to eight fresh leaves of the plant are boiled in two cups of water and reduced to half a cup. This is then taken regularly for three consecutive menstrual cycles. This controls the heavy menstrual flow and also regulates the blood flow. The Madagascar periwinkle flower and the pomegranate buds are taken and a fresh juice is obtained. And this is placed into the nostrils in the case of a nosebleed. A fresh juice or a fine paste of the leaves can be applied to a bite of an insect or a wasp and it reduces the irritation and the swelling. Equal quantities of the fresh leaves of the Madagascar periwinkle and neem and turmeric are taken and a fine paste is made and this is applied to acne lesions and skin scars. It's shown to have activity against leukaemia and other cancers. Different plant parts and forms are used in the treatment of various diseases like hypertension, asthma, menstrual irregularities, dengue fever, chronic constipation, diarrhea, indigestion and malaria. It increases blood flow to the brain and the peripheral parts of the body. A preparation is used to treat psychological and behavioural problems of senility and sensory problems like dizziness and tinnitus, cranial traumas and their neurological complications. The extract from the leaves can be applied externally as an antiseptic agent for the healing of wounds. An infusion of the flowers is used to treat mild diabetes. A decoction of the root is taken to treat dysmenorrhea. The leaves are used as a purgative. The plant is used for tackling hypertension, diabetes, cancer and insomnia in Malaysia. The flower can be used to treat flatulence, asthma and tuberculosis. The boiled plant extract is used to stop excessive bleeding in Hawaii. A root decoction is used for intestinal parasites. The juice in the leaves is used as an application on wasp stings. The leaves are used for bee stings in India, for high blood pressure in Bermuda, for dysmenorrhea in China. Periwinkle can cause flushing and gastrointestinal problems. You should avoid the periwinkle tea if you have liver, kidney or lung disease. Pregnant women should avoid the periwinkle tea. Breastfeeding mothers should also avoid it. It's not advised to drink more than four cups of the tea per day. Some of the side effects of overconsumption can include low blood pressure, constipation, headaches, loss of appetite, insomnia, dizziness and irregular heartbeats. It's also not advised to take this two weeks before surgery. To learn more about herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.